Hey, welcome back to episode 2 of my Rogue Tech series. Uh, we left, we, last we left off, we're out here in uh, New St. Andrews, out in the middle of nowhere in the periphery here, um, way on this side. So um, our goal was to kind of make our way around to the periphery, so we're going to continue to do that. Now we're going to pull a couple more missions here at New St. Andrews because um, it takes quite a while to leave here. The distance between here and the next planet's a fair bit, so we need to have at least um, one, maybe two months worth of uh, funds saved up. So we're going to hit the next mission here. Quite a step up from the leopard, isn't Go to the contracts. And we're going to pull off, I mean, we've got a, like 10 days left before the end of the month. So we're going to try to pull off an easy mission in this episode. The next episode, I think we'll try and hit a little tougher one. Get a little bit more money, a little bit more salvage. And then we'll probably head out of here. We might be able to do some of these others, but we'll see. So right now we're just going to do the insurrection interception. For months we've had trouble with people here in New St. Andrews being riled up by talk of insurrection, rebellion, and independence. Based on the local, top local government analysis reports, we believe there's a compelling propagandist in the area stirring up discontent. Well, we need to take care of that guy, apparently. We've set up a security net to capture her. Oh, it's a her. Well, we'll take care of her. But we can't recover. We can't cover every possible exit from our net and could use an extra lance of mechs. If she tries to slip through your assigned territory, turn her vehicle to slag. Well, that's what we do best. I've negotiated a major bump if we do find the propagandist and eliminate her, and as well as uh, danger pay if she has any escorts and we eliminate them as well. Well, we always clear the battlefield, so we should get everything out of this. So we're going to take... Um, it's only 2 of 10 salvage, but we're going to do... I think 2 of 8, keep 88,000. We've got a drop cost, so we've got to cover and some repairs. So we're going to accept that. And we're going to go with our same lance as before. Um, Panther, Trebuchet, Fire Setter, and Dagger. These two down here, Fire Setter and Dagger, are our overheater mechs. And then our Panther and Trebuchet are our large, long-range DPS mechs. So let's just deploy 35,000 to drop. So that leaves us with um, 53,000 left over for repairs. And hopefully we get a bonus for killing everybody. Command interface initiated. All right, so here we are on the ground, and we've got a propagandist up on this hill here, and that looks to me like maybe a griffin or a wolverine or something up there. Who knows? Could be a shadowhawk. So it looks like Time to get dirty. they've got one lance of mechs over here, or lance of backup. There's a lot of territory back here, but there doesn't appear to be anybody back here. So we're going to head in. And we're going to do our same tactics. I'm just going to reserve here right to turn one. Uh, we're going to do our same tactics. And that will be to get in with our two overheaters. Overheat that main guy. And try and get him to punch out. So we can get as much salvage off him as possible. Whoever the extra lance is that's coming in. We'll just have to go on a dollar for dollar basis. Just to see who um, is worth the most. We'll try to save that as best we can. So the idea by reserving is hopefully um, they've reserved their turns as well, or they've ended their turn so we can get a free turn of movement here before anybody else moves. And it looks like that's what they've done. So we'll get a free turn of sprint in movement here. So we're going to just max out our distance. Try and get in close. I don't want to be too close with their our two uh, um, damage mechs here. I'm going to be able to cover our flank. We just want to move in close with uh, Height and Main Skater to get in on this guy. So once again, we're going to reserve just to see what happens here. So he is a medium mech, not a heavy. All right. We're going to reserve again to see what he does. I want him to move forward so I get a free shot on him with the Heat units. So these guys haven't really moved all that much. So let's get Height Ready down there. How close can we get here? Can we get a chance to heat him? Doesn't look like we can get in far enough to be able to get an opening round shot on him. So we're going to go as close as we possibly can. All right, let's move. And then next turn, we should be able to just move behind him rather than sprinting and get a good shot on him. So we're going to just end his turn. I think those guys have all yep. gone already, so... Main skater, let's get him sprinting down in here. There's nowhere we can get a shot on him, but let's get him close. Got it. Run, don't shoot. 
Now, depending on how tough this guy is, at half a skull, he might be reduced armor. What we want to do is kind of bring our missile units down here, or our long range units, somewhere where we can be behind hills so the guys that are coming up over here can't get a shot at us right away. On the move. So we're going to move down here, be protected by the hills, and the same thing with ground zero. We're going to come down here and get ourselves protected by the hills. Aye, aye. Alrighty. So now, we'll just end our turn. Let's see what they do here. So they are light units up there. Now, I'm not going to reserve my turn this time. Height is going to move himself up here. And we're going to get, hopefully this will be behind him. I got you. Find out here in a second. So it looks like a Wolverine to me. Sure is. And it's a clan Wolverine with two ATM-9s and two heavy medium lasers. Now we really want these guys. One ton, 50 damage. So let's overheat him. Let's get him toasty. Now see, this flamer um, fire starter just really overheats. And I think what's happening, because I've got about 30 heat sinking on this guy. I think what's happening is it's doubling the heat of the flamers. Flamers normally generate six heat. But if I got two on, I'm fine. If I go to three, it goes over. So my guess is, if it doubles the heat from the flamers, that'll be 12, 24, 36. So that's probably what it's doing. Is it's just doubling the heat from the output of the flamers. But they are doing more damage and more heat damage. So it's kind of a trade-off. So we really need to get some heat sinking on this guy. Or some exchangers or something. Primary target damage, Commander. Okay. Now those heavy clan uh, medium lasers... Um, Hmm. Those heavy clan medium lasers generate 33 heat per shot, but if they're only one ton um, weapon. So we're going to go up here. Hopefully, we're just going to walk. Hopefully, we get enough of these SRMs on them to put them into. Oh, that's going to be almost nothing. We're going to unload everything. Hope we hit, hopefully, we hit them with a few, get them overheated here. One. One. Well, it's, put him over the line anyway. Maybe he'll think about shooting. Now, I don't think I really want to... Oh, he's got a lot of armor. So we are going to fire at him. So we're going to move just enough to get a bit of evasion. And hopefully he shoots on my big units here. My big gun units rather than my flamer units. So that's a miss. A couple of racks of LRMs here. Oh, he's moving now, that's right. Oh, 45. So I gotta watch him getting behind me. So he's still overheated. I'm sure he's case enabled. So if I don't move, if I just stay here, there's not a very good chance to hit. But even if I move, though, it's still going to be worse. Like, yeah, 16, 19. And if I'm here, it was the same, wasn't it? 14, 16. Well, it's a little better if I move. So let's try and get a little closer. Yeah, we'll move over here. Moving to position. Keep moving away from the guys that are coming in. Add a little bit of distance. And then we'll just unload with everything on this guy. So we're going to find out how much damage that he did to height there. Uh, a few hits, not bad. I want to find out here. Okay, that is probably a panther or something. Okay, so we want to get behind him. But we don't want to expose our backside to him. So we're going to get behind him and turn this way. So he can't get behind us. We're on the edge of the map. Hopefully he can't jump off the map. I'm pretty sure he can't. But he's already nice and toasty. So let's just toast him up a little bit more. We have to drop one flamer. I got you. Barbecue. Two hits. Nice. Oh. So he's got case. That was an ammo explosion. He shut down. So now we're going to try for headshots with Vayne Skater. So he needs to get up there fast if he can get up there and do it. No. Can you shoot from here? You can. But if we try, like it's going to be... 
the tag and that's it. So let's get you sprinting this way, moving more towards the enemies that are coming in. We can help with that panther if that's what it is. Keep that PPC or whatever overheated. So that's done. Um, and I'm going to reason. Well, maybe I shouldn't. He's going on turn three, so I am going to move here. Copy that. And I'm just going to do an offensive push on him, just to push him back one, just to see if we can get our... Uh, let's try for a leg shot. Uh, that's a pretty good chance to hit, though, from there. Let's see if we can get a leg shot here. Where was that? Left side, anywhere. Knockdown. Nice. Okay, one out of three. So now we can hit him with the uh, LRMs here. And hopefully get a headshot on him and knock him out. That'll be it. So, Commander? I think we're not going to move. Oh, we can do direct fire. Even better. So, let's go for a headshot. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to torso him, but let's just try for that headshot and see what happens. Come on, just one headshot is all we need. Just one. Take that. Nope. Damn. All we needed was one, man. We got 30 missiles. Our target is making a break for Oh, he ain't going anywhere. Oh, he's got to go over here. He's got to go right through everybody. Good luck with that, buddy. He's going on turn, what, three? No, he's not. Let's get Bane Skater up here. We're going to move straight up, and we're going to do a uh, offensive push on him so everyone gets to shoot at him again. We're going to aim for his head. Hopefully we get a headshot on him. Come on. Those tiny damage weapons. Just one headshot is all we need. Nope. Oh, LRM ammo is jettisoned though. So what has he got? He doesn't have much left. Good luck with that PPC shot. They're not closing. Trying to shoot from back there is a big mistake. So he's got 60 points left here. No LRM ammo, but this is where is, he's only got that medium laser left, so I don't want to blow him up. I want to get that medium laser. Well, let's... Confirm. I don't have any cold shots left, so let's come around here. Hit him in the side, he's got lots of stuff on. I think we're going to have to kill this guy, unfortunately. I don't know what else to do here. So two flamers, I'm on him. get some heat on them. Stop him, maybe firing that, uh, I'm sure he'll fire that medium laser. That's a big damage weapon though. So what is this guy? Breaching shot ignores cover. Medium laser, it's something half decent. So let's find out what he is, and I can't yet. I'm going to move over here and see if he'll shoot at me way. instead Double next time. time. So we're just going to take a pot shot at this guy. I hope I don't kill him. Locked on. Leg him, leg him. Oh. Solid Got his arm. Okay. And we still don't have... Let's get to a point where we can... If I go here, indirect fire is 21, 24. But if I just move on the hill, like... So much better, but I'll probably kill him. I'm walking here. Like, if I just... Well, I might not. Let's just fire and hope for a headshot. Or a knockdown. Unlikely on the knockdown, but... Oh, he punched out. Nice. Smart move, buddy. That was a smart move. Saved us that uh, clan heavy laser, or heavy medium laser there. Okay. Let's reserve, see what they do. Looks like they've only got two mechs over there. So that's a bonus. Just depends on what they are. Commando 2C. Another clan mech. Nice. So, that's a lot of CIRMs. 
Somebody needs to meet height. You think this guy needs to meet you, height? You think he wants to Double time. Let's go. say hello? Let's get down here. We're gonna need to just use two. Well, maybe we'd be able to use three flamers on him. Very low chance to hit. So I'm gonna keep it at two. Hopefully we hit with one of them. Oh, there's one. That's good. And then we're gonna get Vein Skater over there to, to uh, unload with some uh, SRM heaters. SRM heaters, good, nice. Good Gotta chance to hit there. I like that this dagger is pretty heat efficient. So let's unload. If he's not sprinting, he's good, right? So. So do we get? No, just a few missiles hit. I was hoping for the. Uh, um, uh, do we want to kill this guy? I was hoping for the uh, um, the haywire to hit him. So let's just... He's got lots of armor. Let's just say hello. Let's fire with everything. Trebuchet is so heat efficient, we don't have to really worry too much about unloading on people here. So that's a nice splash. And then let's Pretty move up cool. on top here. I want to get closer and find out what this other mech is. I think it's a panther, but uh, we need to find out sooner rather than later. So I'm going to unload on this guy. It should I should be able to kill him. But I might be able to take a leg if I get lucky. Nope. How about a right arm? That's good too. Now he's going to move first, obviously. Okay, height. Go give him an invitation to the barbecue. Confirm. Watch that side, though. Copy that. I know he's hitting the back there. Not to be careful. Okay, so let's. We can put three on him this time. Let's really get him overheated. He's pretty heat zero now. So. There we go. There's three. That'll put them over. Nice. So once again, we're just trying to get these guys to basically minimize the amount of weapons they're going to shoot. That's a panther. He's hitting me. Damn it. Panther 9L. Oh, that's me. I'll find out what this guy is. So let's move Vein Skater down. He can't get over there, but he can certainly shoot this guy in the back. Let's try and make him punch out too. So I'm going to leave these two on this guy. Let's just heat him up, boy. There's a few. Did we get the haywire? I don't know. 49 heat we did. And he shut down. Good. So we don't have to worry about him now. But we do have to worry about this guy. Now I want to keep my right side turned to this panther. Because the PPC is in the left side and I don't want to lose that side. Plus double heat sink, so 56% 50, chance. That's not bad. It is just a regular Panther, same as me, 9R. Boom! That's how you do it, buddy. Scored a critical hit. He just needed a bigger PPC, that's all. And he's unsettled. So he's going to take a full uh, complement of missiles in the face. Compliments, Flatliner. So let's remove this guy from the game, hopefully. No, nope, not quite. No, they got They're gonna power up first, yeah. So let's go again with ground zero. Move forward slightly. Is my chance better to hit 74? But at least I can move my side here. So let's move forward. And what does this guy got left? SRM4. Let's just try and kill him here. Oh, how can you miss with that? Come on. I'm just gonna fire the SRM4. Well, at least he missed. Okay, so Flatliner's just gonna stand there and just shoot that guy. There's no point in worrying about it. Alright. And let's get... We lost the one arm on this guy, so let's... I'm gonna move height to this side where he's still got some armor. And let's burn him like a steak. So two more hits, good. 
And then because I think he's got lots of armor in the back, still tons, uh, Vainskater is going to come around behind him. I say tons of armor, it's only because this guy does like, almost no damage at all. So you can stand behind him all day and not kill him. So let's unload on him. We just want to overheat him again, panic him. Yeah, shut him down. He's not doing anything. So hopefully when we kill this last unit, this other panther, this deck, that uh, commando will decide it's a bad idea to hang around and just punch out. So let's unload with everything on him. Not going to move. I want to have the best chance to hit. Oof. Not quite enough again. Critical hit. But he's unsteady, so... Battle mech power up detected. Let's get uh, ground zero. I'm going to move him back a little bit just to get a better chance to hit with the PPC. The guy was trying to close the distance on me, but 99%. This should do it. There we go. Boom. One last target. Sure is. All right. So let's do the same thing. These flamers aren't doing a lot of damage because he's not overheated. So hit him in the side again. And let's see if he reconsiders now. So Van Skater's not going to move. He's just going to unload on this guy's backside. No misses. So he shut down again. Now I think what I'll do, yes, Commander. I'm just going to shoot him with one medium laser. See, see if we can get him to think about bailing out. Let's shoot. So what does he got? Where? Two clan ER mediums, which aren't too bad. I mean, they do 35 damage, but still the heat is like ridiculous. Let's just shoot him in the leg. Let's try to shoot his leg off. Just want to try and panic him. Battle mech power up detected. All right, so once again, fight him to the barbecue. Got See if he wants to come. He's unsettled now. I think that because of the more guys they lose, the better chance they have of bailing out. So this is an overheat. So let's just turn off the narc. Haywire and a tag for now, so we can get a bit of heat back from this part of the serms. That should overheat him. Shut down again. So I'm going to move ground zero over. We're going to pew pew him with the small laser. Hopefully try and take a leg off here. And we'll just shoot him. I could offensive push him. So he doesn't have a chance to start up and we can definitely leg him. 46 left in that leg. 98 in that one. Hmm. Let's try an offensive push him. Let's go for this leg. I just want to use the small because I don't want to kill him by accident. So it's a miss, but it's enough to push him back one. And then I think Flatliner is going to try the same thing. We got our offensive push still, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use three mediums this time, and we're going to go after the leg. Firing on target. Oh, come on, just hit the leg, buddy. So now we all go before him. He's still shut down. I don't think we got enough. Uh, we do offensive push, but I don't want to use it with height and vein skater. We just want to hit him with flamers. So he's got, what, 46, 27. I can hit him. I'll just, just shoot for his leg. Why not? Oh, 66. Did we get the leg? We got the leg. Perfect. So now, two or three health. We're going to do Vein Skater. And he's going to attack with everything, and we're going after the head. Hopefully, we can get a headshot on him. Nope. He's panicking though. So where did we get him? Here. 38 up there, 27 there. Still this he's still got lots of armor, so I think he's got his engine here, although it's not a, I don't think it's a clan. It is a clan XL, so I think we can blow that torso off. 
So I'm thinking I'm safe if I unload with the heavy PPC and take the chance of trying to get that leg in one shot. So let's try that. Firing a full salvo. Do we get it? Close. Darn close. Yeah, so all we need to do is connect with one of these medium lasers. So let's do the same thing. He's in the woods, so I only need one hit at 18, 18 damage in the woods. I hit with three, it's 30, it'll be too much. So let's just use two. Um, I don't want to overdo it here and kill him, so let's just do two. Come on, leg him. Oh, come on! Ooh, that hit something good. Really? Really, guys? Come on! <sighs> Ready for orders. Attacking him from behind, I don't get a chance for a head hit. So if I move to the side here, go after a headshot maybe? This is his last turn I think anyway, so actually maybe we should keep the offensive push. And let's just see if we can get, what do we got here, left 14 still, 1. Gonna end his turn. Let's see what this guy does. Right. Don't die on me, buddy. We're gonna reserve because we're gonna use a uh, flatliner here with the mediums. He's got three medium lasers. We're gonna do an offensive push and we're gonna attempt to get that leg. Let's just do it. There we go. That's it. Both legs. Nice. Maximum salvage. Mission. That's what we were trying for. I mean, we're not going to get much out of this. We only got a chance of getting two, but I want to populate that loot table with as much good shiz as possible. So 93,000 after our drop cost, which is great. We have to cover our, our um, repair costs for sure. And yeah, they penetrated the torso here but you know he's okay so so we're looking for endo steel be nice if we had endo steel for the panther and the fire starter um, so let's just see what we got here all right lots of commando parts one panther lots of wolverine parts nice two clan see these are er lasers so i don't want i want the clan heavy so we're going to take this guy um, unless there's other really great stuff here. So I don't want this. Reach, that's a good... See, <sighs> Clan XL engine. <sighs> so much good stuff. Gyro, fusion core for cash. Double heat sink. I mean, we made okay money on this one. Um, there's our endo steel. Is this clan medium heavy laser going to really help us out in any way? I mean, it's a good weapon, but where do I put it right now? I can get more use out of two sets of clan endo steel than I can out of that right now. Um, but I'll get more out of this as well. 50% engine weight. So the bigger the engine, the more you save, right? So let's grab that. And we're going to grab... How much does I want these double heat sinks to? I'm going to grab the endo steel. And I think we'll probably end up putting both of these onto the fire starter. Well, let's see what we get first. Let's just go. So two Commando 2Cs, two Wolverines. Nice. Armor case. Nice. That's great. That's really good. For we're gonna we're gonna put that on our uh, trebuchet. One extra heat sink, man. Well, we did okay. All right. So before we end the episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna gear up our guys here. Um, I'm thinking both the light engine and the Pharaoh will go on the fire starter, and I think what I want to do is just cram them full of heat sinks as many as I can get in there. The fact that he can't use all of his flamers all the time is really bothering me. 
Um, it would be nice to not have to let that dagger support him all the time to shut down mechs. So, yeah, so 4,300, two days for repairs. So we're good there. So the fire starter and the panther. So we're just going to wait three days here. Hmm. You and Darius are networking on Planetside Bar. As Darius fetches the first round, you overhear the two loud whisperers from a nearby table I'm telling you, those two are mech warriors. A hissed response. What would you know? It's not like it's not like on the hollow vids, man. Out of the corner of your eye, you scan the group, and it's like you're gazing into your own past. Three young nobles casually stare in your direction, pampered and comfortable. Written all over their eager faces is a feeling you remember all too well, looking for an escape from their, their safe, predictable lives. So I can invite them to a meeting with a client, I can scare them straight, or I can leave them alone. Well, if I invite them to the meeting with a client, they'll get an idea of what it's like to be a mech warrior. If I scare them, it's like, eh, you're basically making the decision for them. If I leave them alone, they're not really going to learn anything. So let's invite them to a meeting with a client and see what they say. They recover from their initial shock and accept your invitation to meet with a new potential client. En route, they pepper you with questions, some hopelessly naive, but some insightful. Their, their enthusiasm wanes, however, when they see the, dis the disreputable pirates you're negotiating with. <laughs> After the scoundrels depart, you say, do you know what happens next? Darius and I put four good mechwires' lives at stake. Well, my life too, right? Well, I guess I can't die, but still. Some of them might not make it back, but we'll get paid, and we'll repair and heal up. Then we'll do it all again. That's the life, until it isn't. Two of the nobles are visibly shaken. The last one looks at you square in the eyes. You recognize that spark of defiance and determination. No lasting consequences. Well, we'll see. So as a role play, maybe I should... You know what? Argu arguably, if this is a role play, I'm going to have a look here. I'm going to go to the hiring hall and see if there's someone I can hire here. So we got what? Trapper? We got Slammer. Technical School. Infrastructure, Star League, improved mech repair times. Ooh, that might be, this might be the person that we uh, hire. But they're technically nobles, so this is a commoner. Yeah. Merrick Nobility, here we go. Noble, increased pilot maintenance and mood changes upon funding level. Really? Well, as long as we're not refunding. And the salary's not bad. And Hemlock, he's a commoner. So we're going to, for the role play, we're going to hire a payroll here. Wow, payroll, what a name. So we're going to hire her off here, and I'm just going to click hire. New mech warriors available. I wasn't expecting to hire anybody, but that was a perfect RP opportunity. So we're going to hire this person. I'm going to go to the command center real quick. Or barracks, I mean. We're going to have to get her a uniform. So uh, let's see what we're going to do here. So blank spare has got... I think she's actually got the same uniforms that we're already wearing yeah, here. Is that true? To go. Looks like it. Standing by. No, slightly different. So we're going to just go in and customize real quick. I'm not going to change anything on her other than the lighting and the camera and the uniform. Got to have the same uniform. And we're going to leave everything else the same. Just save and exit. Ready for orders. Ready for orders, are you? All right. So we picked up a new mech warrior out of a bunch of nobles. Chance of putting her into battle? I don't know. I mean, we got blank spare still that we got to rank up. So, all right. So she doesn't start with any bonus XP, so that's unfortunate. Um, Blank Spare's got a bit now, so we're going to raise up gunnery real quick and just confirm that. Training. So let's get back to our barracks. Um, going to the Argo. I think we have one day to wait. Yeah, one more day. There we go. So let's have a look at that. We're going to have a look at this um, fire starter here. And we're going to refit it. It's a nice starting mech. I mean, the fact that, it, that the flamers do so much more damage is fantastic but really the fact that it just overheats ridiculously like that so I'm just gonna go to equipment so we got clan endo steel and we got XL in it. so I'm gonna drop the XL in, in and it will fit perfectly nice so that's four and a half tons we save and the endo steel should give us probably a ton and a half I think yeah so that's six tons and we got six heat sinks nice so let's drop one two three four five six so we're gonna do some math here chief so this this if they're generating 12 that's one two three four so it's 48 
and we've got what 24 30 6 and then another 9 18 more is 46 54 so that's over so let's go to weapons we've got another flamer with bonus accuracy here five damage and bonus accuracy which we can fit in so we're going to pull out a heat sink actually we're not going to pull it out of the leg we're going to pull it out of the torso and we're going to put a flame or another flamer in with a plus one accuracy in the torso here um doesn't have that extra bonus damage to um like these guys do here noise versus overheaters but this is great because we can actually just um um have an extra alpha strike plus if we lose an arm we still have a good flamer to use another flamer so we're going to leave it as that i mean i could put a tag in but we seem to be doing just fine right now getting behind people that's going to be eight days hmm, do i wait yeah so we're going to wait i'm just going to leave this for now because we need to pull off another mission um exit with no save changes correct so because we got to pull off another mission before the end of the month in eight days i'll put us beyond that so that's what I want to do. We're going to go to the Argo real quick, and what we'll do is we'll get our mech warriors healed, and then we'll end the episode. So we got three days to financial report. We're doing okay. We got enough money for that next financial report. We picked up a new eager noble mech warrior, which is great. Um, and we got a good contract we can pull off next time. We're going to try and do, if we go to the command center, we're going to do the insurgent leader next time. And uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. But until then, no. See you later.